it is specific to Michigan football and specific to head coach Jim Harbaugh. What do you think of Jim Harbaugh? I'm going to answer the question again. I think Jim Harbaugh is doing a great job having Michigan positioned where they are right now. And that is one of the top teams in college football. You might say they're not positioned as well as Georgia. All right. You might say they're not as positioned as well as Alabama. Uh, Okay. Who else? I like their position. I like their position in the Big Ten. I like their position nationally. So I think Jim Harbaugh has this team right where you, the Michigan fan, want them in the mix for a national championship. One of the top five teams favored to win the national championship after two outstanding seasons, Michigan looks like they have their best team. Now, why do you say that? Look at the top end talent, JJ McCarthy season two. We've been over Blake Corum and Keegan and Zinner, but then you want to go for some other game breakers on offense. How about the one-armed bandit, Donovan Edwards? There are not too many uh, players at any position that are more talented than the Don. Colston Loveland. I mean, you just start ticking off. I mean, I could do the same thing on defense. They've got a lot of top-end talent. I feel pretty good about it. I think you do as well. Let's take some more feedback. Uh, Antoine answering the question. I am very pleased with Jim Harbaugh. He has a setup for the present and the future. Antoine, right to the point, concise, one sentence, and you got it done. Although Antoine adds on. He likes what Michigan has done with the staff. And for the first time, the front office doesn't seem to be working against the team. Uh, Same thing with Santa, Santa Ono, the president. And he likes the fact that they took care of the staff. Yeah. Jason, talking about JT was short. Yeah, it was close, Jason, but it sure, you know, could have been, could have been. Tough one. It was one of the, it was an extremely close call that went against Michigan. Shadyville. See what else? Uh, what's up, Michiganders? I'm a bit hungover. Well, Jason, you know what a uh, a great hangover remedy is? Memorial Day. You don't have to do anything but sit back and and uh, and recover. You know. Here's Michigan Mark. I like Michigan Mark. He thought that Michigan blundered by not taking Harbaugh before he went to Stanford. And most pundits didn't realize he was close. Blame the O when it was the D all along. Losing Durkin was disastrous for him and Michigan. Uh, Losing, you know, Durkin, that hurt. Blame the O when it was the D. Yeah, I mean, there's up to season six. Am I blaming more of the offense or the defense? It's tough because the quarterback position, Michigan was outplayed by their counter their counterparts down at Ohio State at the quarterback position. But I would agree with you. When you're putting up 62, 50 some, I mean, like, you know, so yeah, the defense, uh, I feel like, you know, you're, uh, you're right about that. Whoever came up with hairball keys, please. That's what my, uh, my daughter is 17 now, but yeah, you know, eight years ago, she was like, what's the big deal with hairball? I think a lot of kids probably went that direction, right, Jason? Shadyville is now weighing in on Harbaugh and what he thinks of him on this Memorial Day. Shadyville 03 says, Michigan is in a good position. They are currently at their peak. A national title 
is not possible until the pass game advances. We do not have national championship receivers. Yeah, Shadyville, I am going to disagree with you. You know, you don't have to. Like, I get it. You want to have game breakers at every position. You want to line up at every single position and say, Michigan has the other team covered. What it really comes down to is you need to have the team, quarterback. You do need talent. And I see what you're saying because the last two years when Michigan – certainly two years ago when they got in against Georgia, you know, Georgia was a better team than them. They had a better defense. Michigan was not going to be able to line up and run it down Georgia's throat. They needed to have more of an explosive passing game. No doubt. Last year it was coming on and you know what? Michigan should have beat TCU. They, if, if JJ McCarthy doesn't throw two pick sixes, if JJ McCarthy uh, audibles out, of the Philly special, any of those three things go a different way. I think Michigan wins. I think if they don't fumble at the goal line after Roman Wilson, a guy that you're saying is not a, uh, a championship receiver. I don't, I think Roman Wilson is a championship receiver. I think you're completely, uh, you know, you're, you're not do, giving the Michigan receivers their, uh, their justice, but go back and look at what Roman Wilson did in that semifinal game. If they, uh, didn't screw up that call and Michigan didn't fumble. I think they win that game and they go. And I think as much as TCU had the chance and beat Michigan, I thought Michigan would have had that chance against Georgia last year. I think that you're not giving, when you look at this Shadyville, you and other Michigan fans have fallen into the trap of you're listening to others or you're just into a narrative and you can't bust out of it. You don't win at every segment. And maybe some of these teams have, maybe Georgia, maybe Alabama, they've got five stars at every position. Everybody's great. And you can look at it and say, okay, that team's going to win the championship. Michigan, the way they play football and the, 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 uh, by running the ball and dominating physically up front and the kind of defense that they have, they play all three phases of the game and the quarterback that they have, with the wide receivers, I expect the wide receivers to be much better this year with the quarterback on passes down the field. It took them a long time before they got there last year. Specifically, it took them to game 12. But I feel like game 12, game 13, game 14, that they broke the seal in the passing game. And I would say that, Shadyville, you are sleeping on the Michigan passing game. And anybody else who is down on it, and is using this kind of uh, language, a national title is not possible until the passing game advances. Well, we could argue it. I'm just saying that I think it's there already. And you saying that they do not have national championship receivers, I disagree with that. Roman Wilson is one of the best wide receivers in the country. I think Cornelius Johnson, along when you're putting in there, you're talking about receivers, I would put Colston Loveland in the mix there. I think when you got Loveland, Kojo, and Roman Wilson, those three right there, you are capable of winning a national championship. And I think that the passing game has already advanced. You just missed it because you're putting all of the other games in there. But I don't blame you, Shadyville. I think that there's probably a lot of podcasters, a lot of broadcasters, a lot of writers, and a lot of Michigan fans who all kind of uh, hang out and hold hands together and just say things about Michigan. And they're just following what, you know, it's just built up as a narrative, whoever it's come from, whoever is saying it, they are wrong about that. And so too are you Shadyville, just come on over. Michigan has a national championship of uh, receivers. And a national title is possible because the passing game has already advanced. It just took too late in the season. You just missed it. Jason believes Jim is a very calculated individual. I think he knew and expressed how long it would take for him to actually turn this around. The covert year didn't help him and bought him more time. Yeah, I think he's calculated. Somebody already mentioned the what was it, the 2018 game, right? That was that one JT was short. Just think. 
if they would have won that game. They could have. That game, that call could have, and many you know think should have. I okay, I will too. They could have won that game. They could have started this out a little bit earlier. Could have started this thing out a little bit earlier, where Ohio State was in Michigan's head. That was a big part of it. So they needed to break through there, and that would have been nice. Winning down there, I don't think that they would have given up fifty points. Uh, the um, 60 points, you know, after that. So I'm with you.